Hey guys, welcome to my first Linux tutorial. Uh, today I will be teaching you how to configure static IP on a Linux machine, especially on Red Hat Linux. So let's just get started. Uh, so before starting anything, let's check what my current IP address is. So as you can see, my current IP address is set as 192.168.0.101. Now this IP is, IP is dynamically assigned to my VM through my service provider. So to change so now this is dynamic. So what the, the problem with dynamic IP is suppose if you have good hard coded this IP into some other network file. So if this IP changes on next reboot of this machine, so you won't be able to connect remotely to this server. So it's a good practice to set a static IP, static IP. So you don't face any problem and don't have to rework on the same thing again and again. So to set an IP static IP, these two files are required. Means all, is, these are already there. You just have to edit some parameters related to static IP so once again just check what is my current IP ok so it is 101 I would like to change it, change it to 192.168.0.200 and before beginning anything before changing anything in these files it's always a good practice to take a backup of anything that you change so I will just make a copy of these two files to be on a safer side suppose something happens to my original file so I can just yeah, rename the back back the files to the original name so there won't be any loss as such so I'm just doing a copy command to co copy both the files It will take a few seconds, just be patient. So I'm done with my backup files. So now let's change the first file which is ifcfg-eth0 So there are some parameters already there in this file and you, and you have to add some So device is eth0, hardware is your MAC address Change nm control to no And onboard parameter to yes It is yes already And now you have to mention the IP address through the parameter IP ADDR And set an IP address of your choice Oops, uh, oh, I forgot what is the, what are the starting CGT, so I will just exit the screen and check what it is, so it is 192.168, okay. So I will again do the VI, change the IP address to 192.168.0.200. Always remember the first three digits should be the same. Don't change anything. Only change the last digit. That is, I have changed one zero one to two hundred. Also, I also have to add net net mask, which is the universal thing. That is two fifty five or two fifty five or two fifty five zero. And change DNS now. How you find the DNS? Go to your host machine con uh, command prompt. Do IP config. Uh, go on the top and see the default gateway now de this default gateway is the dns so it is 192.168.0.1 so mention it over here ok so we are done with the first file so we will ch change see the changes that we have made now we will change the second file so we will just confirm by cat by adding this file we have changed the parameters yeah it's fine so all the parameters are set now we have to edit the second file that is network file so here only three parameters are required networking is here is a host name that is the host name of my vm we have to add one more that is gateway now this gateway is same as your dns1 ip address so that is 192.168.0.1 now now this is same as your default gateway 
okay now save it i will get the file to make sure that the parameters are changed oh, yes they are changed now after change these files and confirm whether the, the desired changes are made fire the command service network restart so what this will do is it will stop the ets0 service go to your files and check what is the current ip and will set that that ip as the ip address of your system oops oh sorry actually we made a backup copy so the linux just tried to open that file as well but doesn't matter we can ignore this error we are concerned about ets0 not vts0 underscore org so now after restarting the server we can see it's 192.168.0200 now to make sure whether this ip address works let's try to connect this server through my host machine i will just open a putty session mention the new ip address now boom we are good to go since we are connecting for the first time we have to make it yes now i will log in through you user now i have got the session through my host machine now again i have i have config and i will get the desired ip address that's all that this is how we set the static ip on a virtual machine thanks for watching